Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all doing really, really, really well. My name is Gabrielle and today I'm going to be sharing with you another little wiggy wiggy. Excuse this little curly mess I've got going on in my head right now, but it's not about my hair, it's all about a new style that we can just place on a head and look really, really good. I'm hoping these are going to be good because <sighs> I've waited a long time for these to come in the post, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I ordered them... Normally I, I will get a wig that comes in the post next day because I'm really eager, I'm impatient and I want it, I see it, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get that on my head because god damn, but I waited a week for these and just over a week for the other. But I got these off Shein, um, I'm going to share one with you today which is a £12.75, little beauty, um, little fringe do, so let's get the wig out of the bag and see what it looks like on. So it came in like this and inside we have this little shenanigan going on so this one is it's like an ombre blonde fringe sleek bob but I think it's a bit longer than a bob so I don't know what you would call that shoulder bob let's call it a shob it's a shob that's what this is so taking it all out and all the clingy net and whatnot that comes with it the cardboard we have okay okay brush to hand i'm gonna start from the bottom oh i've dropped the net on the right start giving her a bit of a brush color is absolutely gorgeous and as you can see my fingers are going through that's because it is um the mesh style what do you call it it's gone out my head i can't even remember um, cap on the head which I really love because it's breathable and like I said in the past if you get an itch you can get right to it love it they used to be plasticky all the way through it's changed but anyway much better for the summer this is a gorgeous gorgeous color look there's not a lot of shedding going on if I hold up my brush there is I don't even think you can see but there's literally one hair right here which has come off so that's a winner got a little fringe to it which I think might be a little bit too long because it's probably going to annoy me but we shall see okay so this wig well I'm going to put my light on just see there we go this wig doesn't come with a wig cap so I'm getting my old one out which I think has got holes on it let's just stick it on and hope for the best look at this curly bush I've got going on that's what I love about wigs like, I'm not straightening my hair because I want to help with the um condition of my hair which is in a really nice condition at the moment and i don't want to abuse it too much do you know what i mean so i'm um, just making myself look like a little egg right now and then i'm gonna put it on i might flip between lights oh it's absolutely crashing down with rain we've got really really gloomy weather today when i put my wig caps on i like to leave this bit of coming out because these aren't lace front so we're not doing any gluing or anything like that to make it look natural it's literally going on your head and the wig will come around here anyway but if you move it so it's beyond your hairline you won't have the wig cap peeking through so i'm just i've just adjusted the straps on the back so they do have the straps here so you can put it to what fits your head i know which mine is it's always the same so i've put that on there and we're going to put it on and see how this fits I can't see <sighs> line it up and um, when I lift it you shouldn't see the wig cap there you go see you can see my bits there and um, but this wig I don't think is a wig I would put up have a look it's very sleek very um I know quite 80s I think what do you think for that's a bit more natural for £12.75 this is quite a cute little wig I think the fringe will annoy me a little bit I'll have to get used to that because my my natural fringe has grown out um, and I haven't got it recut this feels beautiful I'm not even gonna lie like look at that this is so nice 
Oh, a pound 75, look. Like, if I can't be bothered to do my hair like you saw earlier, just put this on. What do you think of it? What do you think? I will put the link down below. This is extremely silky soft. I'm, this is like probably the silkiest feeling wig I've ever bought. I've got another one to show you at some point this week. And I bet you anything it doesn't feel as good as this one. This, do you know it reminds me of? Oh my God, I've seen it. I've seen it, I can't unsee it. It reminds me of, does anyone watch or have watched Only Fools and Horses? Cassandra, that's what this is. Look, this is the Cassandra wig. What do you think? I really like it. I'm feeling like this wig with a really nice, smart, sophisticated little outfit. Not like I'm wearing today with my little 80s style jumper. But I do like this. Shall we see what it looks like if we can put it up? Because I know some people like to put their wigs up. I do, but with this one I don't think I would. So it feels really nice and comfortable on the head. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel loose. It feels just right. So again, when you're trying to put your hair up, if you've got this one, you put it up. That's what you're going to see. A little bit Taylor Swift look going on when you put it up. But this is what you're going to see. You're going to see all of that. So ideally, you're going to want a few strands pulled down. But this is quite a sleek wig, so I don't think you're going to work it very well. Um, you can try bending these bits down and then spraying them. But I don't, I can't see very well. That's my glass. I don't know how well it's going to work. Two secs. I don't think this is a put a hair up wig at all. At all in any way, shape or form. And if you do a ponytail, this is what you get at the back. So say you put your hair in a ponytail or a bun, whatever. This is going to bulge out. So you're really not going to want to do that. I would definitely suggest for this wig to keep it down. Um, unless you've got this colour hair, you could get away with it. But I'm not feeling it for myself. Uh, if you put it up, keeping it like that. Again, you're going to have the back. It just doesn't, it doesn't look right, people. It don't look right. Look. Imagine just standing in the queue at Sainsbury's or something like that. I'd feel like a right lemon. So I don't think I would wear this wig up at all. And I don't think I would do it with a headscarf because I think it's going to kink out and make a funny little, like, flat shape. But I'll grab a headscarf and we'll have a little look. So I've just picked up this red headscarf. I'm just going to flip it and then put it on and see because I've done this with other wigs and it always looks really really nice so I'm just going to press down the back the flat bit there as you can see press that down bring it up over my the tops of my ears all right it's not doesn't look too bad go have a look at the hairline in a minute so we're going to have a look at the hairline it's essential it's essential that the hairline's good if you put it up like that, that's not too bad, actually. I would need to have my head scarf flipped the other way so that the folds are underneath and not like that. But anyway. I can't see the back, so I don't know. But I feel like it just sort of pushes the wig out a little bit. Do you see what I mean? But it, I, again, I do really, really like this wig. And for £12.75, you really can't go wrong. What I need to start doing is I need to put a wig on. I need to go like public places and just like approach people and be like, I've just come out the salon. Do you think they've done a good job or do you think it looks like I'm wearing a wig? And I want to see what people say. I want to see if people go, oh my God, no, your hair looks beautiful. They've done a good job. Or wherever they go, you're wearing a wig. That would be so much fun. I think I need to do that. So let's have a look at the root. Because... When I'm looking at a wig online or I'm feeling like buying a wig, I will not buy a wig that doesn't have a decent hairline because on the crown it's really essential. Some some companies don't actually show you this part. If they don't show you this part, don't buy it because I've brought wigs in the past that haven't shown that part of the hair of the wig and it's been a circle. 
and the hair just swells out of it and it looks ridiculous oh my god the rain i was going to show you but my camera's not picking it up it's so gloomy right let's have a look at it so that's what the top looks like uh perfect absolutely perfect here you can pluck a little bit to make it a bit more natural just not so it's like so it's not like a perfectly straight line um but you can like play around with that a little bit the fringe is i think the fringe is quite perfect actually i wouldn't like look you know if the wind's gonna blow it's not gonna rev oh my gosh just turning you back up that was crazy rain i don't know if it picked it up but i had to show you that it is insane it's literally blowing oh anyway yeah the, the the front part here i think is really really good like i wouldn't feel uncomfortable if i was standing around and i just went like that i wouldn't feel uncomfortable about that the only thing i felt uncomfortable about is the flap at the back so i would not put this wig up and this bit here because my natural hair doesn't blend with it and you can see the line and there's not a lot of playing around that i think i feel like i could do with this wig because it is so sleek if i had a wavy or a curly wig then i'd probably be like well i'm pulling a bit down and i would hairspray it and then i would be good to go but this one i feel is a bit more styled so yeah but if you're looking for like a taylor swift <coughs> excuse me kind of wig or dressing up or whatever this one would be perfect £12.75 there you go I wouldn't attempt cutting it because it is too blunt so there is no way I would trim this wig because again if you've got a curly or you've got a wavy you can kind of get away with doing a little scissor down type of thing it is quite tricky with synthetic wigs and they do damage your scissors after a while so be careful but this one's just too styled that I don't think I could play with it but I do like it I do really really like it and you're gonna be sitting quite nicely in my little wig box as my little keeper because I like this one again top you can put a bit of dry shampoo on but be warned when you take a photo with flash it will show um, I tend to use a little bit of talcum powder put it in my hands until my hands are completely smooth white and then I'll just rub it like that <coughs> opposed to the dry shampoo and um yeah i'll put a little bit of that on there if i feel like it's a bit too shiny and that works a treat so here we go we have a 12 pound 75 wig which i think is a winner let me know what you think in the comments down below let me know if you would wear this wig and how you would style it and um yeah if you do buy it tag me on instagram Gabrielle XX Randone and I would absolutely love to see it. This is a hidden gem. Thank you so much for watching. I'll link it down below if you're interested and I will see you all again in my next video. I've got some treats coming up for you my lovelies. So yeah, if you like wigs, subscribe down below, hit the bell and if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up, really really help and I will mwah, love you and leave you and see you all again in my next one.